morning, dear students. I am Nitala Khadir, madam, from Siddhartha Vidyalaya, Latur. Today, we are going to learn the lesson B Smart, Standard 10, Unit 1, 1.4, B Smart. In morning work, we will take this set activity. Open your English book, page number 21. Look at this diagram. This diagram shows important factors to be considered while choosing a career. Planning your career is not an easy task, but we can reduce the distress by making a proper choice. If we do what we love to do, the journey becomes smooth and leads to success. You have to plan your career. And this is not an easy task. We can reduce the distress by making a proper choice. If we do, and what we love to do, our journey becomes smooth. And this leads to success. The following diagram shows important factors to be considered while choosing a career. Discuss with a group which factors you regard as important. Important. These are career factors. And important factors are given here. Look at this diagram. These are career factors. Skills, interest, ability, personality traits, demand, financial gain, family profession, future prospects. These are career factors. And we have to take other career factors also. And 21st century skills. We have to find out the other character factors and 21st century skills. Now we will say next section 1.2. An acrostic is a form of writing where the first letters in each of the lines form another word. An acrostic. You see an example of the word praying. In this word, there are six letters, F, R, I, E, N, D. And acrostic means, means a form of writing where the first letter in each of the lines forms another word. In French, yes, yes for faithful, R for respectable, I for inspiring, E for encouraging, N for noble, D for dependable. And this is an acrostic of word praying. Now, prepare on your all such across for your dearest family member, name of your best friend, a quality or feeling, any profession. Example, name of your best friend, Asha. A, yes, yes, A, Asha. A for able, yes for simple, yes for helpful, A for excellent. Next acrostic of bright, a quality, bright, 
B R I B S E. B for brilliant, R for right, I for intelligent, C for great, and S for happy. This is an acrostic of the word bright, a quality. Next, we will also learn an example of. any profession that is teacher teacher in teacher t e a c h e r teacher t for talent e for enthusiastic a for ambitious c for cooperative s for honest e for energetic r for respectful this is an acrostic of teacher now prepare on your own such acrostic like this next number 3 this is the activity say whether the underlined words in the following sentences are used as a noun or verb or adjective this is the activity here in this sentence the underlined word is walk we have to identify it is used as a noun or verb or adjective number 1 i walk to school every day look at this underlined word walk we have to write in your book or notebook it is used as a noun or verb or adjective right here next number 2 i go for a walk every day in this sentence the underlined word is walk again walk is the underlined word and you have to write this is used as a noun or verb or adjective next sentence right here answer They gave me a gift every day. Here, the underlined word is gift. Write your answer. Next, you can give her a story book. Here also, the underlined word is gift. We have to write. It is used as noun or verb or adjective. It was sold as a gift bag. Look at this. Here also again, the underlined word is give, and you have to identify it. Next, they bought a new house on tenth street. The underlined word is new. Right answer. Next, the water tank leaks a lot. Underlined word is leak. We have to write answer. It is used as noun, verb. Or adjective. The old age home houses hundred aging and homeless people. Here, the underlined word is houses, and you have to write the answer of this. This is used as a noun or verb or adjective. Okay. Now we will take your answer. Look at this first. In first sentence, walk is used as a verb. Here, walk. I walk to school every day. Walk, walking is the action word here. Walk. To walk is the action word, so it is used as a as a verb. In this sentence, walk is used as noun. In this sentence, a gift. They gave me a gift every day. A gift is used as noun. You can give to her a story book. In this sentence, gift is the action word to give. Gift, so it is called word. It was sold as a gift to pet. Gift to pet. Gift here. The underlined word is gift. 
and it is a describing word here against the back. So this is adjective. Next, they bought a new house on tenth street. The house was new. Describing word. So it is adjective. The water tank leaked a lot. Leak is the action word. It is war. The old age home on day. Hundred age men from the girl. It is used how say it? it is used as war. So this is that we have identified the other land word in the following sentences are used as a noun or a verb or adjective. Now we will learn our lesson one point be smart line by line. Page number 22. Be smart. We will divide this lesson into parts. We will discuss part one in this today. Look at this picture. This is our first paragraph. Be smart. Can you tell me what is the meaning of smart? What is the meaning of smart? Smart means we are not talking about the appearance of people, but we are talking about smart goals. The lesson, be smart, is about success, to become successful. The lesson, be smart, gives the formula for getting success in life. We must follow certain goals in life and work hard to achieve the goal. Students, have you set any goal to achieve success? Setting goals in life is not easy, but the smart goals make it easy. Smart goals methodology makes it easy. The technique makes it easy. The letters in the word smart indicate that goals must be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time. Now, we will learn the lesson line by line. Look at this picture, and this is our passage. Champions aren't made in June. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. They have to have the skill and the will. But the will must be stronger than the skill. Successful professionals thrive in the same manner. We all have natural talent. If we use that talent to set our goal in life, we can easily get success in life. We shall not achieve our goal if we do not take action to achieve them. Look at this picture. Champions. Champions means winners here. Champions don't become successful easily. They can't become champions by going in jail. Champions have important things such as desire, dream, and wish. They keep skill and will in their mind. But the will must be stronger than the skill. Successful professionals try you in the same way. Thayu. Thayu means prosper. Everyone of us has natural talent. We have to decide our goal by identifying the talent. It is quite easy to become successful. 
if we decide and act towards the goal, action is important. Without action, we cannot be successful. It is a proverb, action speaks louder than words. So, action is important. And the will must be stronger than the speech. Next paragraph. Now, we will learn next paragraph. Look at this picture. And this is our second paragraph. Setting goals has two valuable aspects. A sense of originality and a stepping stone to illuminate the path. Goal. Put one at the helm of life. Pursuing them acknowledges a better future situation. They help to steer a course of life rather than simply drifting along and letting things occur. Two valuable assets, assets it means quality. Two valuable qualities of setting goals are a sense of originality and a stepping stone to illuminate the path. Here, illuminate means enlighten. Two valuable assets, a sense of originality and a stepping stone enlighten the path. Goals put one at the helm of life. At the helm of. This is the phrase. And the meaning of this phrase is in charge of. To illuminate the path and again goal put one at the helm of life. Pursuing them acknowledges a better future situation. The help to steer. Steer means channelize. The help to channelize the course of life rather than simply drifting along and letting things happen. Goal keep a person concentrated and independent. The goal towards the right and positive direction towards life. Next paragraph. Setting goals may appear easy, but for some, it is quite challenging. Fear of failure may be avoided in the absence of after all, one has to decide what one wants to achieve in the aim. To accomplish goals, experts recommend a five set approach. Look at this picture. Setting goals may appear easy, but for some, it is quite challenging. To set goals might be easy, but sometimes it is challenging. They find setting goals a challenge. We should not have. Some people fear failure. Hence, they find setting goals a challenge. Due to fear, they find setting goals a challenge. We, if we want to achieve our goal, we should be always active. Successful and expert people suggest a five phase of approach. Next. I will ask questions on this passage. Try to give answer of this question. Why do some people find setting goals a challenge? Why do people why do some people 
find setting goals a challenge try to give answer of this question okay yes some people fear failure hence they find setting goals a challenge due to fear of failure they find setting goals a challenge next smart goals are a methodology of thinking that helps people to reach success smart stands for specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound successful and expert people suggest five step approach of smart in the form of an approach look at this approach smart goals are a methodology of thinking that helps people to reach success this is an acrostic of smart smart stands for specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound s yes for specific m for measurable A for achievable, R for realistic, and T for time bound. Here we will stop. Write new words. Write in-text questions. Read again and again. This lesson we will learn the remaining part of the lesson in our next. Thank you.